Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, stick around for a while. I'm in some of these hay fields. I got the boys running some round bale wagons. It's time to get these round bales off the field. First cutting's pretty much in the books, and we had a bit of a rain. Rain last night, first time in three weeks. Thank God we needed that. It wasn't much, but we'll take it. So with that being, everything being wet, we're gonna try to get some of these bales moved so they can grow back. Uh, new roof, another roof's going on that silo today. They're gonna try to knock it out so I can feed out of that first silo because I can't feed out of it when they're in there working. They have tools and all kinds of stuff in there. First small field down, that's Greg and Mark Holland. We're uh, also, like I was saying, we're getting the rest of them barn roofs put on too. If uh, they can get, they're gonna get part of it and they're gonna keep moving until they're done. So that'll be wrapped up. Hopefully the silo roof's getting done. And uh, these fields we're in right now, they're just smaller, smaller fields that we rent from people we know. And uh, we took them off first and we got on that big 80 acre field. We'll be moving them tomorrow probably. And we're here, this is this is that 70 acre piece that we bought. It came with this house and these two outbuildings. The main soybean fields in the back, I'll get a better look at it. All the boys are waiting to come with the round bale wagons, but we split it off where it's kind of low up here. This is non-tiled, but it drains good. It wants to go to the back, but it splits right here. There's not really a ditch up by that road. So we just kind of let this grow up and we'll cut this one or two times a year. Cause I'll show you the monument. So we split this, it had to be two acres we probably, the propane tank is split like right here, but the new owners, they're not moved in yet. They want us to clean this all up for them. So we'll be mowing this. I'll show you these monuments. Back of the property, soybeans, if you can see it, they're looking pretty darn good. It's best that they've really looked in a while. But we, we started renting this, it's probably like the fourth year. And then finally we were offered to buy it. But he's got this as a monument stake. That was my main man, Rick Dutler. He found these, this is a pile of limestone, found some stakes. This, this whole actual piece, it's like five foot long, found a full, full pile of them. And uh, he decided to drill into them and use them as a boundary marker because they come off this farm. You can see there's a silo on here. So there used to be cattle here back in the day.
clear. Yeah, whoever bought this property valued privacy. This house is quite a bit linked there off the road. And there's some houses built, someone subdivided, and dude did some cookie cutters along, but this is, this is you know, we're gonna be behind them. 60 acres, as long as I'm around, we're gonna be farming it, so. And then another farmer owns on the other side of that fence row. So yeah, we knew whoever was buying this wanted privacy, and they got it. Another little field, only about seven acres. This is a guy that contacted us. We're like a stone throw from the farm. There's a silos right there in between that fence row. He wanted us to clean up his backyard. So we've been bailing this for a few years and it's good hay. That's 14 bales of really nice looking first cutting. I mean, that's, you think about that, that's a half a month for one of them heifer barns because they eat about a bale a day. And you know, you, you don't pass them fields up. If you've got a guy that wants you to take it off and it's right in your back door, take a day and go do it. And we have arrived at our final destination. This is a private road, 20 acre piece we bought um, back in 07 right well i'd say 09 it was after the economic crash and a developer older guy said he just went down the road and was looking for the biggest farmer he could find to buy it housing everything was in the tank you guys remember what that was like so 20 acres the road alone this is, a, this is like a 30 foot wide road one foot thick we've got a blueprint on the whole thing there's eight splits three on the left three on the right and two big splits in the back four acre lots so we put it all the hay because it's kind of a funky layout and, it's, and the lots are set for drainage so it's kind of a mess to to be if you had to bring a combine in here but the hay mower can handle it i mean look at this cul-de-sac the road alone cost 90 grand we got the receipt for it so we decided to just farm it we were gonna sell it this past year when it was housing through the roof but we don't really want any more neighbors so we decided to keep it yeah, here's that road, big cul-de-sac, four acre lot, four acre lot, and then three, three. They say, hey, someone put a lot of money in this and then they lost their butt, but you know what? Sometimes that happens. And if we came in here and sprayed this, it'd look a lot better. That's what these weeds are growing up, but see how she, you don't know how well you can tell, it tapers right down. It's where you'd end up putting your driveway right in. Look at them clouds. Beautiful day today. I'm gonna run these cows out some feed. Silo roof is complete. Shiny new roof on number one and number four. 
Check this out. I hear it. We got hay again. Barn metal's going on. I'll get you up close to look at that and that silo roof. Let this new hay down a couple. That's the freshest hay we've got. First cuttings in the book, guys. in here and that's where it's gonna stay we'll leave this hooked up we will round bale all our second cutting and I'll put a so I put a bale in the barnyard to the milk cows every day every other day and third cutting we chop we refill them and then potentially we will chop and really cap them silos for the fourth cutting so we can get through winter the blowers I got them all blown off both of them they both got to go in the shop we're gonna adjust both the paddles because even though this one was working is working great at the end there, Greg wasn't happy with the way it wasn't blowing all the way over. And with a big horse like this, I finished up blowing with this girl because that, that other blower tractor we, I put on the rakes. And uh, Daryl was, was wanting more feed in that silo before he put the roof on. And uh, so, but yeah, they're, they're going to get adjusted before we do third cutting. Moving along, the new disc bind uh, was, worked very well for us. I'm going to show you how fast that hay well sheer paint off that's over about 150 acres we'll say this one did because we we're running that other disc mine bean drill hay cedars all washed off and so is that 7830 uh, I had Lonnie he came in he cleaned out all the soybean seed and we ended up what it was left we ended up we're feeding it we're gonna mix it in the parlor and you know this is the hay cedar right here We've got a field down on some muck, some hay that once we get the, the rest of that off, 
I think we're gonna go in there and we're gonna plant some more grass in there because it's looking a little scarce. Hey, alfalfa doesn't do very well in muck. It just, it kills it off. So we're gonna plant some type of different grass in there. Check the wagons. I got the majority of them cleaned off. This is probably the first season. So what do we got? Two, four, six, seven. And I got two I need to work on, which isn't bad after, after going about a week and a half straight with these. But wagons didn't get rained on a week because we're that dry. We, we, needed, we needed that rain bad. And yeah, we cut all that down. We chopped all. I mean, we got a minor little pop up. But as far as like heavy rain, we just didn't get it this year yet. I'll get off real quick and tell you where we're at. On the other side of these trees is the farm. All our ground is on the other side. There's a big drainage ditch. So this farm, this is owned by McDermott family. Uh, friends of my dad's or the family for 30 years we've been here. There's a cluster of trees, but most of it's open, but there is some they never wanted us to clear it. So that's why we left it as is. Been hayfield for about five years for nice, nice feel. But we're finishing up. We actually finished up chopping here. We went around the outside, round bale. That's why you're seeing round bales. We round baled the outside. So when we, we were raking up and back, we wouldn't be running it over. And then this, all we chopped, all we needed was a few wagons. That's like from here over to that cluster. So the rest of the field remains. I got to get, I got four fields. It's the next day. I got four fields to rake and then we're done. Uh, rain coming tomorrow. So we're going to try and knock it out. We're going to be uh, traveling all over the county a little bit, but that's sort of the perks of, of this is I get to get off the farm. Oh, and if you're wondering about my hair, don't mind it. Rochelle's been on me about getting it cut for the last two months, but we've been busy. We're lining up. She did get me a hat to wear to cover it up and so to keep the sun off my ears.
getting ready to turn into our destination on my right, to your left. John Young, another 35 acres, taking it off for quite a few number of years. He's, he's older now, he's, he's probably about 80, but good old guy. A very hilly, windy piece of property. Why we don't do anything else with well, it. Good for hay, but you're weaving in and out. Hey, good. Good pasture ground, but we'll take the hay. This field we're in, this is, this is some thinner stuff, so we'll probably only get one or one cutting, possibly two. Big hill here, guys. We're about six miles from town. Went through town, you saw that? That was about five miles. Six miles to his house. Oh, by the way, John, the owner of this property, he's a Marine. 